Hey everyone, welcome back to Big Outdoors. If you're new here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and today we're once again out in the boat, cruising around looking for some chickens. One, two, three. Cool. Good nice, sweetie. Oh, they all flew away though. Look at them little pot liquors. Pot liquors. I was looking down and grabbed my clip. You happen to see which way they went? No, I didn't. Oh, there's one. Well, I'll be a little while. Okay. I'll just shut this off. Good luck. Yep. At least I can see where he landed this time. I wonder if I can shoot him from here. Have to shoot through a bunch of trees. Shooting through all them branches. Now we gotta go find them. That was a far shot through a tiny little window. Holy cow. Well, you can see how far I had to go. I always figure you go him in the head. Oh, absolutely, I did. Look at that shot. <laughs> Holy crap! 
and this is what I'm shooting through. I think the first three shots there, I had to pretty well shoot the limbs off because he was he was up here in this tree. Set that down. So that was pretty impressive. <laughs> you know, like we're shooting through all these tre trees and limbs and he was up top and I had just a just the slightest little hole I could shoot through but even inside that hole there's a bunch of these little branches and stuff and the first two shots I pretty well shot branches off that third shot <laughs> connected with them so that was uh Whew. That was something else. That was some good shooting. Uh, now I'm going to see if we can't run across the road here and find the other ones that flew away. And if not, I mean, hey, I'm happy with that. You guys got to see some fine shooting there. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's jump across the road. Uh, reload the magazine. And go after the other ones. Well, you guys, we made her home. A uh, bit of a slow day, chicken hunting. Uh, we went out and got the firewood, and we were able to get one chicken anyways. The others, well, oh well, can't get them all. But I got my chicken all cleaned up here. If you want to see how I clean my chickens, I'll leave a link in the description below for you. And then also, right above me here, I'll put a little link that you can click there as well. But anyways, we got to get this sucker into the house and chilled. And then tomorrow, we'll get to cooking. Well, good morning, guys. We've had our uh, spruce ends sitting in the fridge here overnight, and uh, I've always said the spruce ends they kind of a they get like a bit of a steak taste to them. We cook them right. So this morning, I'm gonna make my version of steak and eggs. Well, first thing we gotta do, we gotta take the meat off the bone. And today what we're going to be using is just this simple steak spice. Pick this stuff up at uh, PV Mart. We'll give her a little dab. Alright, so now that we have our chicken all seasoned up here, we have our pan going with some oil, a bunch of butter, we'll lay these in there and basically what we're doing we're pretty well just kind of basting them with that butter. We'll do that, we'll let them cook up, once they start browning up, we'll flip them over, spoon the butter onto the other side, slowly cook them up until they're all done. So our chicken's been cooking here for a little while now. Starting to brown up real nice. Give her a flip. Then with all that butter in the pan, tilt it to the side, spoon it on. If you want to cook an amazing steak, do it the same way. All right, so these have been cooking here for a little while now, a few minutes on each side. And go ahead and pull these off. Now see how we have all this pretty well flavored up butter and oil in there already. We're gonna grab our eggs and crack it directly in there.
Uh, just a touch of pepper on top. Put a lid on, let them steam. And they'll be made up here in just a couple minutes. All our eggs are almost done, just pulled the lid off of them. Shelby says she likes her eggs medium, so what I do is I grab my pan and I shake them like this. You can see the outside, it'll slowly start to cook, and then just the middle will be kind of jiggly. See, so there, the whole egg is kind of jigging. So we'll put the lid back on for about 30 seconds or so. While you're doing it too, you can shake it. Already tell that they're starting to get a little more solid there. You can also feel it. It's right there. We're gonna call that a boat. Good enough. That one's a little runny, but that one's good. Alright, so there we have her. Then of course we got old Shelby there. She gonna give her a taste test. Alright, we gotta start with the tender. Does it taste like a steak? It does. It's weird. Uncanny. <laughs> I like it. That is good, honey. I'm gonna go eat my breakfast now. All right. Really <laughs> there you go. There's a uh, kind of a funky way of making steak and eggs, but it works out pretty good. Uh, you can also cook steaks this way, and it turns out excellent. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, uh, send us a comment or two, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one. You want your heart, buddy? You got to sit for it. That's not sitting. That's jumping. Oh, good enough. <laughs> good boy.